Hey guys, we're back again. It's the Barcode Arena YouTube channel. The video today is connecting the MC65 and ES400 handheld barcode scanners to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, both of these handhelds run a, a specific version of Windows Embedded Handheld 6.5.3 Professional. The reason it's specific is because these devices are unique in that they have a dual band WAN cellular radio where you can log in to the device and toggle it between CDMA cellular carriers like Sprint and Verizon and toggle it back over to GSM, which is global carriers like AT&T, Telcel in Mexico, just anywhere around the globe outside the U.S. would be GSM. Um, I digress. We'll get right to connecting these to Wi-Fi. So... The first thing you need to do, this is an ES400, it's factory state default. And when you boot it up for the first time, you have to turn on the Wi-Fi radio. So click your Windows Start icon, click Settings, click Connections, click Wireless Manager, and click your Wi-Fi radio on, just like so. And then I'll close out of that and click Wi-Fi now that you've turned on the radio and change work to the internet it's just a more broad setting for internet browsing it's a little bit easier for connecting right up to general purpose Wi-Fi let's so click OK to save it then we'll back all the way out here to the home screen now just click your top bar here and if you move to the right you'll see this F. That stands for Fusion, which is the name of the firmware driver of the Wi-Fi radio interface on these devices. And if you click that, it'll pop down your selections menu. Go ahead and scroll down and click Options. We'll just change a couple more settings. Um, drop down your arrow here. Turn on both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz bands. Drop it down again and click export and just click export options and click save to save this change so we don't lose it. Now we're ready to connect to our network so go ahead and find your wireless local area networks. It's going to pull up all the Wi-Fi networks within range. And what you want to do is click your Wi-Fi network to highlight it. Then hold your stylus a second time over it. Hold it down to right-click it and click Create Profile. So this is your seven-step setup wizard. The profile name is just the name broadcasting out of your routers or access points. Click Next. Operating mode is Infrastructure. Our security mode is a mixed mode, and when you're doing a mixed mode of WPA2 slash WPA, you would just opt for WPA2, authentication type none. The next screen will ask for your encryption type and if it is a mixed mode. So this is very critical is to make sure that your encryption type and your security mode that you're using when you set this up match your Wi-Fi network security settings. So have a network guy or your most techie person log into the routers and verify what encryption type, either TKIP or AES, and what security mode, WPA2 or a WPA2 mixed mode with WPA. And that has to be exactly correct or this won't work. So our, since we're in mixed mode, it's AES. We'll do a passphrase. I'll keep it covered so you can't see our password. It is case sensitive. So be sure that all your capitalization is correct. Click Next. We're going to automatically obtain our IP address. If you're more experienced network person, you can do a static IP and a static DNS. Um, we're going to keep it DHCP to make it easier. Battery usage mode CAM, which is the highest performance setting. Click Save. That's going to take you to the 
profiles that you've created. This is a default factory state profile that you'll want to double click and disable so that you're not trying to connect to a, a dummy profile. Once that's done, click OK. And then now, go back to your options, drop down all the way to the bottom and click export and export all your profiles so it permanently saves what we just completed. To double check that you're connected to your network, just click wireless status and click IPv4 status and you can see that we've been assigned our IP address from the network and the gateway and everything. Also you can check your signal strength and we're associated, the quality is good and that's how you connect the Windows embedded handheld 6.5.3 operating system on the ES400 and MC65 to Wi-Fi. Thanks guys, have a good one.